Do you feel that you're the only one initiating sex in your relationship, or at least you're the person who's doing it a majority of the time? You are the one who is bravely reaching under the covers, gently rubbing and stroking your hand along your partner's body, hoping to hear a little moan or a little shift closer to you, you know, those green lights. I'm Caitlin V, your sex and relationship coach, and if that sounds like your sex life, you might be asking yourself, why the hell does this woman not want to f me? And that is totally fair. Who initiates sex can cause a lot of tension in the relationship, and having an imbalance in this department is actually pretty common. Particularly, a lot of men find that their female partners do not initiate sex as often as they'd like them to. Today, I have some solutions because it is possible to have the colorful, mutually enthralled Lucy in the sky with diamonds sex life that you want. And frankly, I think you deserve it. In this video, I'm going to share with you the four major reasons she is not initiating sex and tell you exactly what you can do to fix them. There are many reasons that this might be happening. And my number one tip when addressing this issue is to ditch the blame. I want to start by saying that it is important not to view the situation as being any one person's fault. Starting out with blame and shame is a surefire way to increase tension in the relationship, and I can pretty much guarantee that that itself is not going to improve your sex life. The truth is, is that if she's not initiating sex, it is just a sign that something needs to be changed or addressed in order for her to start. And when it comes to what is getting in her way, there are a few things that you should know. Number one, she experiences responsive arousal. Here is the thing, women and men are wired differently when it comes to arousal. And on top of that, each woman is wired in her own special way. So every single one of us is essentially a sexual special snowflake. No two of us are alike. But there are some common biological factors at play. And if we are painting with a wide brush, we can categorize men as more likely to experience spontaneous desire and women as more likely to experience responsive desire. This means that it is easier for dudes to get revved up out of the blue and fast, like spontaneously. Think of yourself like a gas range stove top. Just a flicker of the ignition and bam, you're lit. Or it could be just checking out the way your girlfriend's jeans fit her or a particularly ripe and juicy peach at the grocery store. I am not kidding. The point is that it happens spontaneously. One second you're minding your own business and the next minute, boom, sex. That sounds great. I'd like sex now. I'm ready to go. Women, on the other hand, we're more like ovens. We can get scorching hot, almost scarily so, but it takes us a while to heat up. I'm not saying that women don't get spontaneously horny or that some men are not like ovens who have responsive sexual desire. What I am saying, however, is that women don't typically go from zero to one or one to 10 without a little assistance. This is where the term responsive sexual desire comes from. So if you find that your partner rarely initiates sex, but she gets into it once you initiate, then she is likely just further along on the responsive end of desire. So what can you do about it? Here's the trick. If your partner is heavily responsive, the best way to turn her on is by giving her something to respond to. But this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to initiate penetration. You can encourage her by creating an environment that stimulates and arouses her. If that sounds like a lot of work, stay with me because it is not. Like, let me ask you a question. When's the last time that you really deeply told her that she was beautiful? Like, you looked her up and down and told her what you find stunning about her. That you let her know how much you desire her and that you desire her in a way that makes her feel appreciated and wanted and lusted after, that can be a huge turn on. But maybe you've been doing that. In fact, maybe every day you tell her how desired she is and it's still not getting you any more of the kind of sex and she's certainly not initiating. Well, let me ask you this. Is she overworked? Is she overly stressed because of her job or her responsibilities as a mom? 
will plan an evening of rest and relaxation for her. Sometimes we need to put down the responsibilities of employee and mom for long enough to remember that we are actually sexual women underneath it all. And as soon as we hit that nice relaxed place, sex sounds amazing. Or maybe that's not it. Maybe it's that the spark is not shining as brightly in your relationship recently. Try surprising her with something you know she'll love. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could be some flowers you picked up at the grocery store, but it lets her know that you were thinking of her and that you are considering her and her needs. Doing these things does two things. Number one, it takes the load off. Stress actually prevents our body from getting aroused. Being in our fight or flight nervous system means that we actually cannot get aroused for sex. This is something that humans evolved and it's actually quite advantageous you know, because when our ancestors were racing across the plain trying not to get eaten by a saber-toothed tiger, it would have been no good for them to start getting like all wet or all hard as they were running, right? You need all that blood in your legs so that you can escape danger. And the ones that did get wet and hard, well, unfortunately, they were removed from our collective gene pool. How this acts on women today is that when we are stressed, we literally cannot get aroused. So when you take something off of her plate, it gives her body and her nervous system the opportunity to actually get aroused. Then number two is it actually helps you to become more appealing to her, more attractive to her. Displaying these qualities actively gives her something to respond to too. It is a turn on. And if those things remind her of sex or they remind her that she enjoys sex or they remind her how much she loves orgasming when you two have sex, then her body is going to respond in that way. Remember, it's not that she doesn't want to have sex. It's actually that she never really thinks about it. It's actually like she almost forgets that sex even exists. You might be shaking your head right now. Like how the hell does she forget that sex exists? I think about sex all the time. I've never forgotten it, not even for a moment. I kind of wish I could forget it just so that I could like, you know, finish reading this book without jerking it. She does not have that experience. It's not that she is thinking about sex all the time, but she's just choosing not to initiate. It's that she's not thinking about sex at all. She actually needs you to put something in front of her so that she can respond to it. She needs you to remind her that sex exists and that it's something that she enjoys and that it might be a fun thing for you two to do together right about now. Okay, back to our list. Number two reason she's not initiating sex is that she's been rejected a lot in the past. It is possible that your partner actually truly wants to initiate sex with you, but she's afraid to. Maybe she was in a previous relationship where she experienced a lot of rejection or she was shamed about her sexual desires or her kinkiness or her desire for sex in general. She may then become uncomfortable with initiating sex. You know, initiating sex is a vulnerable act. You're putting yourself out there and asking for something very intimate. And when you feel turned down, it feels like a very deep rejection of who you are all the way down at your core. So if she's had that experience over and over again and been made to feel undesirable and unlovable, well, those wounds run really deep and they can be hard to heal. So what can you do about it? Number one, make her feel safe to be sexual around you. Support her when she's sexual. Support her when she expresses her desires. Make sure that she knows that you are not like her ex and that you would love for her to initiate and that it would be really hot for you to initiate. And then secondly, Tell her how you're feeling. Talk about it. Be open and honest and compassionate and let her know what is important to you about her initiating. You know, it's not an easy thing to do and it definitely requires both of you being vulnerable with each other, but I believe in you, especially if you subscribe to this channel, you are already a pro at having tough conversations about sex that help you to get better and enjoy sex more. You got it. You're gonna do great. I completely believe in you. And of course, if you have a partner who has trouble saying yes and no, she doesn't really know her boundaries, that's something that you can literally practice. So you would say something like, hey, can I give you a five minute foot massage? To which she would probably say, uh, yes. And then you'd say, hey, can I stick my fingers in your nose and ears? To which she would probably say, uh, no. And then of course you would say something like, cool, thank you for taking care of yourself. You know, little simple, easy to practice things like that that will allow her to feel safe saying no can go a long way to improving your communication and hearing a lot more yeses. All right, number three, your sex life needs an upgrade. Sometimes you have to take a good long look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are 
you laying top shelf grade a excellent pipe here's the thing my dude great sex inspires great sex and if she isn't feeling satisfied in the bedroom why would she initiate so you know her body like the back of your hand or you know how to get her to the finish line with your tried and true techniques and tricks well here is the thing sexuality is fluid like the ocean and things change so if you've been eating her out the same way for 10 weeks 10 months and years there's a serious chance that it just doesn't do it for her in the way that it used to and i am not suggesting that she's not orgasming or she's not enjoying it i'm sure that she is it's just that women really need novelty in order to stay engaged in the bedroom and in order for us to crave and initiate sex we need you to throw some surprises into the mix and this is exactly why i created my course on being an epic lover to women and it is called she comes to in this course i walk you step by step through seduction, through foreplay, through intercourse, and through aftercare. There's also bonus videos on BDSM and how to utilize sex toys in the bedroom, plus common mistakes that men make in bed and so much more. So even if you are a venerable Casanova who thinks he knows his way around a clitoris, I highly recommend that you check it out. Women need novelty, and the thing is you can always get better. So don't beat yourself up if you're feeling sexually inexperienced or if you're not exactly sure how to change things up, like you're already doing the best that you can and I don't know how to do it any better. No worries at all, I have got your back. Check out my How to Be an Epic Lover Masterclass. I will explain it to you step by step. And I do demonstrations on an actual doll so you can see me using my hands and my mouth showing you exactly what it is that I want you to be doing in order to change things up in the bedroom, prevent things from ever getting stale between the sheets, and put the romance back into your romantic life. Reason number four she's not initiating is that there are deeper issues in your relationship. A mutually satisfying sex life is a barometer for the general well being of your relationship. So, if your partner isn't interested in initiating sex, it's worth checking in on how the two of you are doing on a deeper level. Is there underlying resentment? Do you both feel truly loved and appreciated? Are you taking time to prioritize and maintain your intimacy and connection? There are so many possible underlying issues that may be causing her to pull back sexually. So if you're just focusing on the initiation of sex, you might be missing the actual deeper problem and the opportunity to address it. If you think this might be the case, it's important that you bring it up in a loving and sympathetic way. I mean, no matter how tangled the web of problems in your relationship, and I have worked with as a coach some very tangled relationships, you can absolutely unravel it and get to a place where you both are truly happy and satisfied. Once you're there, chances are that you will see a big improvement in your sex life. And if the issue isn't between the two of you, maybe it's that she's struggling with her relationship to herself. If she's not taking the time to prioritize her well being, this absolutely will impact her sex drive and her sexual relationship to you. Maybe she's overworked, maybe she's overwhelmed by an emotional situation, maybe she just isn't taking the time to take care of her erotic self by practicing sexual self care. It's possible that she's out of touch with her natural need for pleasure and intimacy. I see this with women all the time. If that's the case, what you can do is just encourage her to reconnect with herself. And once she's able to do that, she will have an open space to reconnect with you. The good news is that everything we've discussed today can be worked out. The two of you can absolutely come back together, have an amazing, connected, exciting sex life where you are both dying to jump each other's bones. As long as you can tackle the issues in a loving and non-judgmental way, you can get to a place where your sex life is thriving and you have a chance to really, really enjoy each other in the way that you want to. And of course, if you want some more help from me, you can apply for my coaching program, High Performance Mail. The link is in the description below. And make sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube and following me on TikTok and Instagram at Caitlin Victorious X for sex advice and tips every single day. Otherwise, I will see you back here at youtube.com slash Caitlin B next week. I love you. Bye.